What is going on, YouTube? Um, if you have been watching my videos lately, um, you'll notice that my videos are a lot better quality now. Well, this is for two reasons. One, I've got a lot better camera. I'm using a camera that my friend gave me for free, and it is an HD camcorder. So thank you to my friend, Sal. Um, <coughs> you can find his channel by clicking the link that appears on the video right now. Um, subscribe to him if you're really into the theater. Um, <coughs> or plays. Uh, he's got a great channel. Check out his channel. Um, thanks to him for giving me the camera. Uh, another thing is that I have gotten the video editor Sony Vegas Pro 11. Now, this is a lot better than Windows Movie Maker by far, simply for the fact that it produces a lot better quality video. But there are a lot of skills that you're going to need in order to use. Sony Vegas Pro 11. So I'm going to be continuing the total tutorial series by making videos about Sony Vegas and how to use it and use it properly. So welcome to the first video. Now, in this first video, I will be showing you how to do something that is known as the jump cut. Now, basically, if there's a space or a segment of a clip that a director or a video editor does not want, they will end it at a certain point, then end it at another point, cut a certain segment out, and put the two undeleted segments together into one, and that is known as the jump cut. So, I've created a sample video for you to show you exactly how the jump cut works. So, I've got a video here of me just saying exactly uh, what we're doing in this video. And, as you can see, there's a lot of dead air. And, as a video editor or a video creator, you'll know that dead air is a not a good thing. And, basically, if you don't know what dead air is, it's when you can hear nothing but, obviously, air. When a person is not talking or is, uh, like, if you mess up... Um, that's another reason why they would use the jump cut. But as you can see, there's a lot of dead air in between the parts where I'm talking. So I'm going to be doing what's known as the jump cut in order to get rid of these. Now, in order to do this with Sony Vegas, what you want to do is import the uh, track or the video that you want into to put jump cuts into, into your timeline right here. And then you want to move to where the dead air or um, mess up begins. Mine would be right there. And then you want to hit S on your keyboard, or you can obviously go up here um, to edit and hit, um, where is it, uh, uh, split right here. Uh, but I just think it's easier to do S on the keyboard. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I lost control of my mouse for a minute there. Um, anyways, um, and next what you want to do is you want to hit, grab onto the little uh, timeline track tracker and go to where your dead air ends. So it ends right here. So I want to put that there. It continues right there. And I want to hit split again. And then delete the part we don't want. So right there. Or you can hit delete on your keyboard. And then you want to put these two back together like so. And what I found is that sometimes with Sony Vegas, it doesn't put them together all the way. Like it'll put them very close, but not close enough to where, you know, it will... Because sometimes it creates a, um, a dead space in between the uh, two videos. Right now it's fine. It's uh, actually... Is cl <laughs> I'm surprised I got it that close the first time. Um, then we want to zoom back out on our timeline and go back to where another dead space continues. Or another dead space is. Hit S again. Oopsies, sorry. And then hit another dead space. And you want to do this for all of your dead spaces. Where places you don't... Oopsies. Yeah, that was uh, not good. I didn't hit split on that one. And then you want to delete all the places where your dead space is. Now, uh, to save time in the video, I'm just going to skip to where I'm uh, done with it. As you can see, the time of my clip has been dramatically reduced. It used to be all the way over here into 13 seconds, and now it is reduced down to 6 seconds because I got rid of all the dead air and spaces I didn't want. Now, to make it flow more smoothly, because right now it doesn't really flow that smoothly. Well, we can hear it. 
This is a quick video to show you how to do the jump cut. Actually, I take that back. It does flow pretty smoothly. <laughs> I lied. Um, but in case it didn't flow that smoothly with the way that um, your sound went, all you would have to do is overlap the clips like that, and it would flow a lot more smoothly like you're talking in one complete sentence. Now, now that we have our jump cut complete, we want to put these all together so that way we don't lose it again. So you want to highlight the whole clip, go up here to File, Render As. Sorry. I, that's the reason I hate Hypercam. It, the box that you have that pans, it like moves off your cursor sometimes. And I apologize. I have to get the better Hypercam. Anyways, uh, so yeah, once we want, we want to render that if it ever comes up. There we go. Um, and we'll just render this as test. And then we will do Windows Media and WMV and hit render. And it will render. And it shouldn't take that long because it's only a six second video. Although it probably will take forever because it's Sony Vegas and it likes to take forever even on six second clips. It'll probably take a minute to do a six second clip because that's always how it is. So we have finished rendering, and now it is saved as a project. So we're going to exit out of there. So now we have saved it, and it, it will smooth. It will, <laughs> it will flow a lot more smoothly now that it is all one clip. Instead of having all that dead air in there, we have now one complete clip. And there is no dead space whatsoever. And we can see that right now. Here, take a listen. So as you can see, that flowed a lot more smoothly than the original video. Um, and that's basically how you would do the jump cut. It doesn't get much more simple than that. Um, it's one of the more simple things to do, even though it seems a lot more complicated than it actually is. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, like this video, and of course, leave a good old-fashioned comment. Um, if you would like to see me show, show you how to do something in particular, just drop a comment down below and let me know what you want me to show you. Um, yes, it is from Fallout 3. I love that game. <laughs> so if any of you were going to ask, yes, it is. Anyways, um, so if there's something specific you want me to show you, just drop a comment, and I will be more than happy to show you how to do it. So thank you guys for watching, and always remember to stay in the path of destruction.